Hi everyone, it's Rosemary from Maris Art. Um, I thought I'd show you this uh, thing that I'm creating at the moment and I'll do a step by step how I'm going to create it. Um, in Tim Holtz's paper pads, there's a 12 by 12, and which are stunning. And then at the back, there's uh, pages that are um, this size. So there's, there's four of them on a page, like so. And I cut them out and I thought, I might make a book out of those. And then I looked at it and went, well, that's a bit boring to make a book. Uh, what else can I do? And um, I came up with this idea, which is, if I can get it, it's a concertina. So this one's quite a long one because I used all the papers. These papers are from his paper pad, which is called Wallflowers. So what I did was I, I looked at them all and decided which ones I wanted to show just like that, which left the, the plain ones this side which I could decorate now this is the leftover pieces from the paper pad but these are also leftover pieces from this book you can see it's pretty well ripped apart now but I've still got pieces in it so I'm using up these um, and using those as the illustrations. So all of these are from that book and so are the little butterflies. Uh, this is antique music, of course. And then it's got some washi tape, Tim Holtz washi tape. This is washi tape down here. And then because, because this one I'm going to have as, oh, there's some more. <laughs> It's so big it goes on forever. Some more washi tape. This is beautiful, this stuff. I got it in one of these little tubes. So it's that one. Presumably they're all different. So, oops, there's the back of it. Butterfly and Papillon, butterfly ones there. Um, so because this one I'm actually making to look at, uh, look, to make it look as if it looked like a book, um, then this last one that comes around here is obviously going to get a lot of use on it. Um, so I've, I've just put some washi tape all the way around it. So I've gone down here and up the back and around again so it's on both sides just to strengthen it now I, I don't trust washi tape on its own so I've used Fabri-Tac glue to glue it in place because it tends to peel off and then what I've done on each one I've made it into a pocket All right so this is this is one piece of paper and then this is another one. And then this is one piece of paper and that's another one. So I'm going to show you here. This is another one I'm making. Now these papers are from, oh, there it is. French Industrial, oh, $23. <laughs> and of course it's Tim Holtz, ideology. So at the back again, there were these, it's like this, got a lot of men on it. So this one's going to be a steampunk one. Now, what I did here was I strengthened it again with the washi tape because I thought that this was going to be opening that way. And so what I've done is, first of all, you choose, because these are cut off and they're both together. So I've cut the 12 by 12 in half, right? So I've chosen which one of these I want to actually see, and, then, and it's this one. 
So then I've put it down on here because this one I don't need to see. Right. So that's another one. And then I want to see the map. So on this one, I want to see this. So that goes down there. So sometimes you'll put them down like this. And then, depending on what you want to see, sometimes you'll put them down like that. So it doesn't really matter which way you put it down. And then this one, I decided I wanted to see this one with the... I was a bit disappointed with this pad. The glue on it, which holds the pages together, when you take the page out, it rips the page. So what I think I'm going to do up here is um, cover that with a piece of washi tape because it, I tried to do it with a stamp pad and it looks awful. So that was a bit disappointing in that pad. So that goes like that. And then what I did was, just get it in the right spot. I went all the way along. This one's got, that one has got five pockets in it and this one has just got three because I'd already used some of the paper so then I went along you can see this one it's got a little cut out there right and I just marked it in the middle there then just got the my circle punch see if I'm in focus with it just eyeballed it and cut that out. And if you save this, they can make little tabs on things. All right. And then the next thing I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I've got to distress that. I just don't like that white edge on it. That's all. Not on this one? Probably not, no. I'm not really bothered about the other bits, uh, distressing them. Um, but where I've cut it, I just want to do that. Just makes it nice. So then, what you do then is glue on the pockets. So. Uh, just use the fabric tack because I know it's going to set really quickly. So it's down here. Just gluing three sides the way you normally do with a pocket. Like that. Oh, this glue smells so bad. <laughs> but it's amazing stuff. I love it. Remember this one is going to fold over like a front cover except it's back to front now because I want this to be able to fold I've scored these on on my um, scoreboard down here of course if you haven't got a scoreboard it doesn't really matter you just fold it right? but because this is going to fold up like that I just need a little space here from the next one That's rather nice, I should have used that. I don't want to turn it over and use this really... Uh, can't do it while I'm, can't talk while I'm concentrating. I don't want these really patterned ones on this side. And why this is sitting like that is because this grey didn't really go with the rest of the colours, that's why I've put it that way round. So this will go down on here, but as you can see, I'm leaving that little fraction there so that it can actually fold up. I'll just show you what I mean. See, that's the fold. So I want it to be able to fold up It'll actually go that way, I think. <laughs> and then 
tablets, those two. And then this one goes on there. So just around the three edges of the glue. This is really powerful glue. Got a powerful smell as well. So when you're using it, make sure you've got plenty of ventilation. And then this will sit here, again, leaving that little gap there for the folding. So then it will fold like so. And that'll be, that'll be the front of it. So then it opens out like that. Okay. So this one is say is going to be steampunk, but I'm not just I'm not going to do that just now. I'm just going to put this under a weight while it um while it sets. There. And this other one in the next video, I'll be showing you how I'm going to make the tags that go in it. I've sorted some things out. So these tags, I save all of the cardboard that's inside, packages that I buy, and this was a packet of st stickers. So I bought a few a few the same, so there's, there's actually five tags that are the same. So what I want to do is put this, they are rather tall they're a lot taller than the pockets so when it's it, when it stands up it, it, it'll look like that um, and when it's displayed they'll all be raised up like that which I think is quite nice well, let me turn it over like that and what I've why I've done that is because this top bit that sticks out like that when you put things into a pocket here I like to make it quite flat so that nothing gets caught as it goes in. But up here, I want to put lace and flowers and other hanging tags and pins and all sorts of things onto, um, onto the top of this. So what I've done again from Diary of an Edwardian Lady, I've just cut, well, not cut, torn some things and, and gone, oh, yeah, that'll be my focal points for that side. And then the other side will be this focal point and this. So that um, you'll see how I collage behind them and whatnot. So the next thing I'll have to do is go around all these fo focal points with distress ink and my little doovy whacker, which all you do is you dip it in the thing of course and then you go around it like this. A little tip when you're ripping things out, let me find something to tear. Right. So if I wanted to tear this out, if you if you tear it so I wanted to tear this image out, right? I'm doing it over here so you can see it. If you tear it this way, then what you get is this big sort of edge on it, which on some things I like, right? But if you want to, so what you're doing there, you're tearing the top paper towards you. If you want to not have this edge, then what you do is you tear the image towards you like this. Whoops, go around that. And you can see that this edge is hasn't got that this on it. See, that's where I've, I've ripped off something else. So as I go around, I want this type of edge because it takes the ink better than this edge. Some things, I want that edge, but this one I don't. So it's image towards you. So one of the, one of the 
the teachers that I went to her workshop, um, she said you have to be selfish <laughs> and just have the image towards you. Whoops, nearly did it the wrong way then. So you can see where it's got the word March, you can see that little edge. So that's just one thing. Image towards you gives you that nice, uh, I suppose you'd call it a smoother edge really. No, I'll just take the edge of the page off there because I don't really want the edge of the page. Voila. Take that little bit off because I don't like that little point. So you can see it's got quite a nice edge on it that when then when you go to distress it it picks it up quite nicely and and the other thing I do with with these um, this one isn't isn't as bad but some of them like can't see one at the moment but some of them are too yellow okay here's one that I did see this one here when I did it, it was a lot brighter yellow. Can you see the difference? In the background colour. So what I did was just put it down on here and just gently go over it very lightly so you don't get lines with a little bit of... Oh, I should have done half to show you. And it just takes that bright bright yellow out this could do with a little bit more actually this one here was very very bright yellow and you can see now it looks it looks a lot better because it's um antiqued around the edges and then i've gone over that bright yellow with the, the tool so i'll see you in the next one when we look at collaging these and I'll probably be making some little tags and things from this book the observer's book of British birds which you can see again is getting a bit used up because there's beautiful images that if you cut them out and put them on a tag they look absolutely stunning okay see you next time bye